Hello. Hello, everybody. My name is Matt. I'm your Physio 1 and Physio 2 teachers for this uh, lovely afternoon. So, my. Good? Good? Okay. So, my presentation is on teaching your peers. It's something that I love to do. I love to TA and tutor. Some of you might have been to some of my sessions before. If you're in pink semester, that was a rough one. Only had a couple sessions with two people in them, and at least two other sessions with one person in it. So my first starting out at TA was a little bit of a struggle, but people started coming, and it feels really rewarding, and especially when people come up and talk to me. So the one difficulty a lot of people have is how do you actually teach your peers, people who are on the same academic level as you, just maybe a semester or two below, or even working with those people who are right next to you in your class who need help or your friends and you want to help them. Okay. So, first thing you want to do is teach what you love. If you're passionate about something, it'll show in your teaching. We can all say that Dr. Reich is very passionate about the kidney and the liver. And it shows when he talks about them because he so much prays and loves them so much. So if you teach what you love, it's really important. But you can't just teach what you love. You need to know what you're talking about. If you know what you're talking about, it means not only that you get an A in the class, because that's not necessarily proof that you truly know everything. You might just memorize it. You need to know the subject. So when you get asked a question, you can explain it in a different way. You know the subject so well that you can move it and shift it and show people in different ways what's going on. So you need to be prepared. Obviously, I prepared a lot for this. I made a PowerPoint. That's a lot of preparing. But you need to prepare, really. Whether it's in your own way, it's an hour, two hours, three hours of reviewing the material, or for me, at this point, Physio 1, 15 minutes just to remember where my pictures are in my PowerPoint. Really what it comes down to is prepare the level you need. It's the most important part, is preparing. So when you do get asked a question about something crazy that got talked about, you'd be like, I remember that, I looked over that, I'm ready for it. But you don't want to just talk to people. I can sit up here and talk to you guys all day, and maybe you'd learn something. But the second I change things up, and I start asking questions, like, Jeff, how you doing? Terrible. So what are some signs of iron deficiency anemia? Don't know. You don't know? Okay. So now I ask them a question, right? And now I have an assessment of kind of what's going on. What is he confused about? What does he need to see? It works a lot better in smaller tutor sessions to be able to assess the group, right? You ask a question, one person in the group knows the answer. Does that mean the entire group knows? No, you might need to explain it further. You might need to look at and talk to the people you think are struggling and focus on them. But remember, it's still a group there. You need to be able to teach everybody get to all the topics. It's difficult, but asking questions like that, just kind of assess the knowledge, helps to put the information in a better way. You're able to give the information direct exactly what they need to know, and you hope that with the limited time you have, you cover what they needed or what they were missing, and with the rest of the time, they can fill in the gaps in between. So going along those lines, you need to teach the students, not the material. I could spend hours teaching the material for Physio 1, just talking about it, but I prefer to teach them. What do they need to learn for the future? as well as what they need to learn now. So, do I just talk about the autonomic nervous system? Or do I mention how important beta-1 is, that it's in the heart, that there's all these drugs and all this crazy stuff that can affect it? I'm teaching them more than just the baseline, what they know for the class, because not only can it help them understand it more, but they'll be prepared in the future. And the goal is, when you're teaching, hoping that they retain a little bit of what you did, okay? So don't just give away information to students. 
It sounds weird. I'm here talking to you. But if you just give them the information, they can write it down. Okay, that's fine. They have it now on their piece of paper, and maybe they can go later. But if you kind of work through and ask questions that direct people in a or direct people in a direction, good. Direct people in a certain way, a certain thinking process. I think the simplest one again. I can always go back to physio because it's what I love and love talking about, right? So if we're asking, there's an issue going on with the kidney. Don't just tell them what the problem is. Ask them, what are you going to see if this happens? What are the steps that get us there? Really, how do we get there? Make the person think for themselves and get there on their own. You're just guiding them. Because when you get there on your own, I personally feel I've learned it 10 times better. Because I thought through it. My brain told me where to go. It's kind of like if you're taking a test, practice exam, and you fill out a question, right? And you knew the answer, or you looked up and picked the answer before actually looking at the right answers to the test. If you just look at the right answers to the test, you know what the answer to that question is. You don't know what the answer to that concept that question is asking. Okay? Makes sense? Any questions? So what do you think is the worst thing that could happen during a session? Anybody? You don't know the answer. What happens if you don't know the answer? Oh, I got ahead by one. But if you don't know the answer, don't panic. Really, don't panic. I've been wrong more times than I can count in sessions, whether it's just saying something wrong, in my brain it was the right way, when I actually started talking, it was totally wrong. It's happened before, right? Or you wrote something down wrong in your notes that you're using to teach from or tell you things and you don't know what's going on. So first things first, if you don't know it, you don't know it. You're wrong, admit you're wrong. If I say something wrong and the student raises their hands, he's like, oh, we learned this, I stop. And I say, we're gonna talk about this, we're gonna figure it out. If I'm wrong, I admit to it right there. This actually happened in my session on Monday. I was teaching physio, I said something wrong, and a student said, um, we learned this differently, it's like this. And I'm just like, oh, you're right, okay? I don't know everything. I worked hard, I prepared, I know what I know, but if there's something I don't know, I have to admit to it. I have to admit I've said this wrong and correct it. Make sure the right knowledge is out there. It's not about looking good and showing that you know everything and you're the best. It's about teaching the students. That is the most important part. So if you don't know something, admit to it. And to go back to the one I missed, pictures and words. This is one of the biggest parts of my presentations. It's not just using words. I could talk to you guys all day. Like literally, I could talk to you guys all day. Rambling on about who knows what in the liver and the kidney, do a little clint path in there. Everything I teach doesn't mean you're gonna know exactly what's going on. One of my biggest parts, especially in my tutor sessions, is drawing, writing things out. I'm a terrible artist, I can barely spell but I still put words on the board. I write things up, draw out graphs, because visualizing things can be difficult at times. And when you draw it out, you put a picture to the words, it helps you know. Is anybody looking at what that graph says? Because that's the crazy hot matrix. If you haven't seen that video, it's great. Absolutely hilarious. And again, if you find a unicorn, let me know. I need to know. It's very important. Okay? So, again, don't panic don't know something, you don't know something. If you're wrong, you're wrong. And overall, when it comes to teaching, the goal is that the person you're talking to, working with, learns something. It's not about showing your own knowledge. It's not about proving that you can say it a thousand times and get the right answer. It's about making sure that the person you're talking to, the group you're talking to, knows the answers and can get there themselves on their own. Don't be the voice inside their head, he said this. Create their own voice inside of their head that they can get to the right answer. Mm -hmm. That's it, that's all I got. All right.